seems like every year there's a new craze that rich people are into. Whether it's buying an island or a private jet or a sports team. But right now, the rich seem to be interested in space travel. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I don't think humans should be allowed to space travel until we figure out global warming. You feel me? I'm just saying. We can't just trash a hotel room and then drive a billion dollar spaceship to a new hotel room. Well, that hasn't stopped people from planning ahead. Yeah. Both Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have space travel companies. Like, come on, tech billionaires. You already ruined San Francisco. Now you trying to ruin space? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and check this out. For at least the first 100 years, space is going to be one of those places that only millionaires see. Like the Cayman Islands or the fast pass lane at Disney World. <laughs> But Richard Branson's company, Virgin Galactic, says space travel can be available as soon as 2020 for only $250,000. Yeah. I mean, that sounds cool, but I'm waiting for Spirit Airlines to start offering an option. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The only way it would cost close to $250,000 with Spirit is if you chose to bring a bag. <laughs> pull together a quarter of a million dollars just to make sure my curling iron makes it to Mars. Like, no, no. And can we just talk about what it would feel like to travel to Mars? Imagine sitting in the emergency exit row on a flight to space. <laughs> the flight attendant is just like, are you comfortable assisting people as they exit the spacecraft into the vast emptiness of space? <laughs> uh-huh. I need a verbal yes or no. Everyone's life is in your hands. <laughs> No amount of leg room is worth that pressure. <laughs> Have you seen literally any space movie ever created? <laughs> it always ends badly. I mean, gravity has the happiest ending, and literally everyone she knew died. <laughs> <laughs> when we do finally make it out there, I definitely think I could survive in space. I mean, the temperature in space is like negative 270 degrees. <laughs> Which is the same as every office building women have ever worked in. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Another downside is that space seems pretty dangerous. I don't want to get sucked into a black hole, you feel me? If I wanted to do that, I'd just binge watch 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> but I think the worst thing about space travel is that Instagram is going to get way more annoying. <laughs> watch your blurry concert footage of Lizzo, so I'm not trying to watch your 20-part story of you experiencing space unless you show me Uranus. <laughs> you guys, guys, chill out, chill out. I'm obviously talking about a butthole. Okay. <laughs> and there are way too many things to pose of in front of in space. It's like those angel wings in L.A., you know what I'm talking about, that everyone poses in front of. Imagine that times a billion. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to people being like, oh my god, that meteor is totally going to kill everyone. Selfie. <laughs> not to mention, it's going to be so awkward when we finally find alien life. They'll see all of the movies about them as these little bald green men <laughs> and just be like, rude. <laughs> we are nothing like that. <laughs> now touch my finger so I can phone home. <laughs>